President's announcement that he is now taking an anti-malaria medicine, even though he has not been diagnosed with COVID-19, is raising the question today, will it help even if you are not sick? Medical reporter Liz Bonas helps provide some answers. It just happened to come up at a briefing. The president announcing he made a decision with his doctor to take the anti-malaria medication still in trials called hydroxychloroquine. A lot of good things have come out about the hydroxy. A lot of good things have come out. And you'd be surprised at how many people are taking it, especially the frontline workers, before you catch it. The drug is still in trials to see if it may help people recover more quickly from the virus because it... Looks like it does have some activity against the virus. It shuts the virus's ability to reproduce itself down. But critical care medicine specialist Dr. Hector Wong says... My reading of the data is that hydroxychloroquine is not effective. So, of course, this raises the question, is there anything that will actually prevent you from getting the virus? And then is there anything that will prevent you from getting complications from it? Well, uh, yes, a lot. So I think it's basic good hygiene, right, of the things we're talking about, about social distancing, washing your hands. Limiting exposure appears to be the only way right now to not catch COVID-19, according to Dr. Wong. And as for preventing complications? There's nothing that's proven yet. There are, however, several things in trials to help lower your risk of those complications. They are not recommended for prevention. They include hydroxychloroquine, the antiviral medication remdesivir, and the newest trial announced this week, of an inhaled drug from Palmatect, referred to as PUL042. It's being studied in healthy people to see if it can stop COVID-19 from taking hold in the lungs. That way we put nobody at risk. At the same time, get an idea if this medication can truly prevent patients from getting worse, where we can even provide treatments at home at some point. Until we learn more, your real protection, still at least partially, in your own hands. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus reporting.